QTS Maths Demo Series Scatter Diagrams In preparation for target setting, teachers at a school considered a scatter graph showing comparative GCSE results for 2010 and 2011 for schools A to N in their local authority. Click on the correct letter for the school which had the same result in both years. So the same result in both years means exactly that. They must have the same score in 2010 and 2011. Now the quick way to find that is to draw an imaginary line through the diagonal here. Any point that lies on the line that goes through 0-0, 10-10, 20-20, 30-30 and so on, this diagonal line is the letter we're looking for. So let's just scan that now. So it hasn't hit anything yet. It nearly hits J, but it hasn't hit it. And then here we go, it hit G. Um, we'll carry on to see if any other candidates emerge. It just misses that one, and it misses that one. So school G is, is our bet here. In 2010, what was the score? It was 30, 32, 34. And in 2011, what score was it? It was 30, 32, 34. So that's definitely correct. G is our answer for this question. To inform her choice of reading materials, a primary school teacher looked at the spread of reading ages in her class. The scatter graph shows the actual age and the reading age of 21 pupils in the class. What proportion of the class have the same reading age as their actual age? Give your answer as a decimal to one decimal place. Okay, this question is even easier than the last one because they've actually drawn on the line going through the diagonal for us. So all we have to do is count how many of the points lie on that line. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, and it's 6 out of 21 because there's 21 in the class. So the question wants you to give your answer as a decimal to one decimal place. So that means we have to use the calculator. So click on the calculator button and just evaluate that. So it's 6 divided by 21 and that gives you an answer of 0.285 the question wanted it to one decimal place, so that's going to be 0.3 as our answer. Don't be tempted to write 30% because it didn't ask for a percent, it's just 0.3 is the answer. So we have the same scatter graph as the previous question, except now we're being asked to click on the pupil who has the greatest difference between their reading age and their actual age. Now we could just look through one by one and work out the difference for all of them, but we don't have enough time for that. So the quick way to do this is to find the point that is furthest from the blue line at an angle of 90 degrees. So if we look at this one here, there's not a very big distance here. And in fact, all of these are quite small distance away. So the point we're looking for is in this region here, and it should stand out to be this is the one we're looking for, because that's quite a big, big distance, and it's bigger than any of these other points here. So this is the one we're looking for. So once again, same scatter graph, and this time we're being asked, what is the range of reading ages for the pupils in the class? So the range is just the difference between the maximum value and the minimum value. So notice that we're only looking for the reading ages, so the actual ages here, we don't care about them. So we're only interested in this axis, which is for the reading ages. So that the maximum reading age is here, actually two of them have the maximum reading age, and the minimum one is here. So what I would do is I would just count up how many months there are, and if we click on this one we can say okay there's one, two months here. We then go a whole year, so we're on 14 months, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21 months. And luckily, 21 months is one of our possible answers, which is the correct answer.